Shaquille O'Neal with the rebound. We mentioned earlier, B.J. Armstrong asked Coach Phil Jackson why it was taken out. Phil said, because you're playing in lethargic fashion, let's see how he reacts down the stretch. And he is guarding Anthony Hardaway. Shot clock is down to five. Here's Hardaway for three. And a foul is called. Jake O'Donnell with the call against the ball. It's on Pippen. And that is number five. Scotty Pippen. Penny Hardaway is lying. Well, Penny Hardaway three. putting up this shot. It never looked good when it was going up or when he left his hand, but really getting a break here as Scotty Pippen trying to spin out of the play and avoid contact, but just brushing up against right in front of referee Jake O'Donnell to give Penny Hardaway the three free throws that he wanted. He wants to make up for those last two that he missed. Hardaway now two of five at the line. It has been a brutal day for Scotty Pippen. One for ten from the field. Michael Jordan, six of 19. Yet, as we have been saying right throughout, it's been a close ball game. Orlando up by four with 3.40 to go in the fourth quarter. Jordan getting a pick from Wellington. Wellington with the fake. That is rejected by Grant, and a foul is called. That's number three for Horace Grant. That's just so unusual to see the Bulls so tentative offensively, especially Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan. During that last time out, Jim Gray telling us again that Phil Jackson wants Bill Wennington to be aggressive offensively, which he was there. Horace Grant all over him, seemingly getting all ball. But a number of times, Michael Jordan looks like he's had an opportunity to shoot the ball or to drive, but he has passed it up. Bill Wennington is an excellent free throw shooter, 81% for the season. And Wennington three of three here today. Three and a half to go in the fourth quarter. Orlando with an 84-82 lead. Marv Albert with Matt Dukas, Jim Gray from the Orlando Arena game, one of his best of seven. Nick Anderson, Dennis Scott, Shot clock at seven. Scott for three. Now it's called a two. Put on the line. Dennis Scott with 14. The Magic 86. The Bulls 82. Just under three minutes to go on the four. Hardaway deflected it out. Oh, a huge shot by Dennis Scott as the Magic had nothing going, trying to shake a little bit to avoid or get around Tony Kukoc or get the shot up and his left foot right on that three-point line. Jordan. The tip by Wennington. I don't know, perhaps the, the new look of Bill Wennington <laughs> contributing to the, the offensive prowess. 14 points for Wennington. And the Orlando lead is two. Shot clock down to six. Scott forced it. Pippen with a good box out. Here comes Jordan to the back pedaling Anderson. Jordan got the step, and Jordan has tied the game at 86. And that's what you expect from Michael Jordan in this situation. A little bit of open court, has a seen takes it hard to the basket. Both teams over the limit in the penalty. Just under two minutes to go in the fourth. Hardaway looking to post up against Armstrong. Hardaway, yes. The Magic, 88. The Bulls, 86. Bill Jackson did not like the matchup he had before with Steve Kerr guarding Hardaway. He can't be too happy with Armstrong watching him now. by Anderson. Michael Jordan has not had many opportunities all game long like this, but this one opened wide as you could be as able to beat Nick Anderson off the dribble, Horace Grant waving at him, and nobody in that back line of defense as Bill Wennington taking Shaquille away from the play. Michael Jordan shot 80%. 
in his 17-game return during the regular season. He's two of three here today. And Phil Jackson is very much concerned about Hardaway. Has gone big now. Pete Myers in the ballgame. It'll either be Jordan Pippen or Myers watching Hardaway. Oh, Jordan misses on both. Orlando with a two-point lead, a minute and a half left in the fourth quarter. Michael Jordan missing the two free throws down the stretch. Hardaway with the ball thing, and Pippen rebounds. The Bulls want to run. Here's Pippen for Jordan. Yes, and it counts. The game is tied, and Jordan will go to the line. Committed by Grant, his four. His fourth. Fast break Michael chance Jordan, for Scotty Jordan. Pippen on the middle. Gets it to the right man. Able to finish here as Horace Grant trying to prevent the three-point play, but just not fouling Jordan hard enough. At the other end of the floor, Hardaway thought he was fouling the play. Brian Hill trying to calm him down. Three-point play for Jordan. He now has 19. The Bulls lead by one with a minute 11 left. In the fourth quarter, with the timeout, we'll take a break. Back after this from your local station. Welcome back to Orlando. The Bulls have taken an 89-88 lead as we come up on a minute remaining in this fourth quarter. And following the Magic and the Bulls, it will be Jurassic Park right here on NBC. Nick Anderson was trapped. And he called for time. Anderson time in trouble, Magic. surrounded by Pippen and Jordan, time and took the timeout with 58 seconds left in the fourth. Let's check in with Bob Costas, back in New York. Bob? All right, Marv, briefly, here's what next weekend looks like on NBC. On Saturday, a doubleheader, starting with showtime at 12.30 Eastern. Phoenix will be in Houston for Game 3 of that series, followed by Game 4 of the Knicks and Pacers from Market Square. On Sunday, a tripleheader, showtime again at 12.30, with Phoenix back at the Summit for Game 4 with the Rockets. Then it's the Spurs and Lakers in Game 4 of that series from the Forum. And finally, Game 4 of the Orlando-Chicago series from the United Center. That is next weekend. Now, to finish things up for today's triple header, let's go back to Marvin Mack. Thank you, Bob. A look at the timeout rundown. Chicago with three plus a 20. Orlando down to one timeout remaining. The shot clock showing 12 seconds. Both teams are over the limit. Hardaway. Hardaway to the reverse. O'Neal with the rebound, and a foul is called. Michael Jordan, Shaquille O'Neal. Getting involved, and the foul was called on Bill Wennington. Penny Hardaway trying to force the action on penetration there. As Michael Jordan making sure that Shaq does not lay that one up for Duncan and then going over to Shaq to make sure he's all right. And the, uh, the words from Jordan were accepted by O'Neal, who is hitting his free throws. 11 for 15. And he has tied the game at 89. A.J. Armstrong returning. So it is Jordan and Armstrong at the guards. Weddington with Pippen. And Kukoc up front. 48 and 9 tenth seconds remaining in the fourth. Plus free throw shooting by Shaquille O'Neal. And when is the last time that has been said? The Magic up by one. Connecting with Pippen, and the Bulls have a one-point lead. A pet play for the Chicago Bulls after free throws, but what a time to bring it out in a very difficult play to execute. The two coach and Pippen got it done. Down to 25 seconds in the fourth, 10 on the shot clock. One-point Chicago lead. Dangerous pass thrown by Scott. Low percentage intended for Hardaway, who was in a crowd, picked off by the Bulls, and they immediately call for time. 18 seconds to go. We'll be back in a moment. Well, the Chicago Bulls turning it down the stretch. They've hit their last four shots, including this beautiful lead from Kukoc to Pippen. Well, that just takes perfect timing and perfect execution. And with the game on the line, the about 40 seconds to go. A very difficult play to call. A lot of courage on the part of Phil Jackson to make that call during the free throw. And a costly pass thrown by Dennis Scott in a crowd that was 
picked off by the Bulls. And Jordan spinning his way against Anderson. And the Here comes Hardaway. Good job, We'll be right back. Well, six and two tenths seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Another look as Nick Anderson did it from behind. Chasing Jordan, knocked it away, leading to this. And Penny Hardaway finds Horace Grant flying in on the right side. I think Michael Jordan felt with the 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter that he was going to get fouled on the play. It looked like he had beaten uh, Nick Anderson, but then the flick from behind, as we have seen some wild and crazy things happen in the final 18 seconds today, in particular in that game between New York and Indiana. The craziest 18 seconds I've ever seen. And a timeout taken by Michael Jordan. Anthony Hardaway has not had one of his better games, but a beautiful combination on a two-on-one break there for the Magic to take the lead. Back on February 26th here in Orlando, Hardaway had a career high of 39 points and hit the game-winning shot with seven-tenths of a second remaining as he was racing the clock and was able to hit. Uh, this also was a race, but still time left. So Hardaway with his fifth steal of the game. Magic up 92 to 91. Well, Michael Jordan is definitely going to want to get his hands on the ball. The Bulls can usually get him. Brian Hill has to make the decision. Double team Michael without the ball and give somebody else a chance to take the final shot. Tony Kukoc will throw in. to pass off and that is something we've rarely seen one in five ten seconds to go and the foul is given by Armstrong well that, that's one we haven't seen he had the shot well we saw it a number of times in the third quarter when Michael would make a move penetrate get between the foul line and the dotted line jump in the air and then change his mind I think initially Michael was thinking drive to the basket but he was sealed off by three players and Pippen started to move instead of stay spotted up in that left corner and the two great veterans miscommunicate on the play. I think when the people look back at what has taken place today in the NBA, I know I can't recall three such improbable finishes starting with the Nick Indiana game. Houston comes from behind. The defending NBA champions defeat the, the Utah Jazz in Salt Lake City. And a stirring finish here in Orlando. The Magic now leading 94-91. Eight-tenths of a second remaining in a timeout is taken by the Bulls. Also improbable, the shooting performances of Scotty Pippen, 2 of 11. Michael Jordan, only 8 for 22. We'll be back right after these words. That turnover a moment ago by Michael Jordan, his eighth of the game, which ties a career high. Eight tenths of a second remaining. This is where Tony Kukoc has made so many, not so many, about four or five three-point shots in this situation. And it comes to Kukoc, broken up by Grant. Shaquille O'Neal with 26 points. Now we take you directly to Jurassic Park. 